Scenario one, a teacher enters a class and tells the student, I'm going to teach for an hour and you are not authorized to ask me questions. You cannot ask questions. In fact, not just for this class, you cannot ask me any question for this whole week or this whole month. What you can do best is to note down all your queries and then you ask me the questions when I give you the permission. And this is not going to happen anytime in this lecture hour or in this week. So uh, you, 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 you just have to listen to me and it's going to be a one way street, only I'm going to talk. Scenario two, another teacher enters a class and tells the students, hey, I'm going to teach and it's going to be a very, very uh, participative, interactive session. And, and any one of you, if, if at any point of time, if you have any doubt whatsoever, just raise your hand and ask me the questions. I would love to have questions. And uh, you should ask me a volume. You should throw me a volume of questions. I would love to address each and every question. Let's make this session very, very participative. This approach, the second approach, is interactive mode in computer language. Even if you don't understand computers, you can very much understand what is being hinted here. This second approach is interactive mode. And the first approach is batch mode. If we are talking about the concept of democracy, we have to understand that so far, for hundreds of years in different parts of the world, what we have been doing is to follow the batch mode of governance, which is now outdated, absolutely outdated and obsolete. This is not going to work. What we need is an upgrade in the current institution, the current system, the current structure of democracy. We need to give it a version upgrade and we need to move towards an interactive mode of democracy. If we don't do that, the disenchantment will grow, the disconnect between people and their elected representatives, this will continue to grow. And uh, this anger, this, this, this disenchantment uh, will, 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 uh, will come out in different ways because if their voices are are suppressed uh, using power this anger and anguish frustration disenchantment this disconnect will come out in more perverse ways so uh, we have to understand that in sync with times we failed to give democracy this institution of democracy the all important necessary upgrade we are still following the same old pattern. Give a mandate to a political party for four years or five years and then wait for them to deliver. And after four years or five years, they will come back again to seek a fresh mandate and uh, they will give their own report cards that, hey, these 10 points were on our agenda and look, we have delivered. We have fulfilled all our promises. The problem is this, that until the 1960s and the 70s and the 80s or even 90s, the world was changing incrementally. But today, the world is changing dynamically. Every other day, you see a completely uh, sea change in world's processes. So, because the world is changing 360 degrees in, in, in a month's time like this, it's impossible today to uh, talk about certain 10-point, 20-point agenda which political parties uh, prepare. Uh, and then go to people to seek fresh mandates. This is those agendas. This is not going to work. This is obsolete. So if, if, even if you are working in corporates at senior management level and you are doing a planning or a strategy for the next uh, year, forget about next year, even for the next quarter, if you are making a, a planning or a strategy, you today, today you know that all those points are just a rough, uh, 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 it is, it's going to be a rough indicator of how you should move with a, with a, with a structured uh, blueprint. But even then, you know that there are going to be disruptions ad hoc. There are going to be n number of ad hocs. So you, you are telling your teammates that, hey, this is the basis, basic rough blueprint. But we are going to see ad hocs at regular basis, disruptions, which may come from anywhere. And we have to be prepared for that. So you are basically prepared. 
uh, we are making business strategies a democracy we are not even thinking about this major problem what we are doing is to just uh, carry forward the same legacy and we are saying uh, we are celebrating uh, uh, this this institution uh, like it's uh, it's to the people for the people by the people no 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 it's not for and by the people anymore why because today people are thinking that my voice and the voice in which the elected representative is speaking uh, is not in sync on any given issue my voice should be the voice which my elected representative should speak uh, in as well but this is not happening they have to be on the same page they have to speak the same voice but it's not happening it's not happening this is why we need to change uh, we need to shift the focus from giving one group of people the mandate like democrat republican and labor and conservative to uh, focusing on specific issues of governance the focus has to change it cannot be about democrat and republican anymore it has to be about a b c and d issues on these issues uh, are the elected representatives they are taking the same decision which i would have ideally wanted to take if this is if this is happening they don't care about whether it's republican or democrat or conservative level whatever so this is an all important upgrade we are talking about in this institution else what will happen is uh, this dis disenchantment will continue to grow and uh, people will turn more and more cynical they will continue to lose their faith which is already happening and uh, in different ways from time to time you will see this 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 frustration this anger uh, of not being heard come out in very very ugly and perverse ways so this is why i think it's time to give this institution of democracy an all important upgrade and uh, we need to move from batch mode to interactive mode of governance how is it possible it is possible using technology because today technology uh, is telling you that it can do anything for us we are living in a golden timeline where technology has assured us that it can do everything and 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 we can leverage technology to move towards or interact or an interactive mode of governance from the yesteryears or existing <laughs> uh, model of batch mode of governance which is totally obsolete so it's time to give this all important upgrade and today on this world democracy day september 15th we need to introspect we need to at least kick start a discussion on this uh, on this issue so uh, what we are what we what, what we uh, need today is, is 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 a new kind of democracy where in spirit not just in words in spirit democracy demos kratos these two words what do they mean demos means people and kratos means opinion voice so it has to be practiced in spirit and it can only happen when on interactive uh, basis we are creating a democratic structure where on real time on, on each and every uh, xyz issue people are thinking that my voice is being heard so this is possible using technology and uh, this is why we need democracy 2.0 this all important words upgrade uh, is something which is really the need of the hour